Not to mention he may stand before them looking like a joke and nerd, but at that moment they take what he says and makes it their reality. And doesn't relegate it to some secondhand conversation or a token third. And he relished at the opportunity to have the thing that he spoke and heard. To be able to use this art to express his emotions and heal his heart, but when he spit the love poems, he realized just how much he had broken hers with all the lies he had told and his broken words. Shit, I should be speaking this in first person, even though I was wrote in third. But I did that because I didn't want to stand up here and seem vulnerable. Expose you all to my hurting nerves. That has my heart screaming like a chirping bird, and all the while I'm trying to ease the pain by smoking herb, but that's absurd. So instead of spitting this how it was written and repeating a bunch of he's and she's and him's and hers, I'm going to tell it to you like it is, because after all, these are my spoken words. We are fam, right? I can be honest. Put it out there. I have a confession to make. You see, I thought that love was this blessing you fake instead of a blessing to make. I mean, with all the pressure from that love shit she was putting on me, I thought I would pretend a little bit to help lessen the weight. You see, I knew exactly where I was in this relationship, but I kept her guessing the state. While she was yearning for the next time that we would speak and burning for the next time that we would meet, I wasn't even stressing the date. See, she'd be with her girls professing her love, and I'm with my dolls confessing the hate. I didn't realize that I was messing with fate. I mean, looking back on it now, I guess you could say I took her love and abused it. Had it was real, but thought it was fake because I had confused it, but I spent my time on the grind. I'm trying to get more signals than you'll see in sheet music. Willing to gamble with a heart because daddy needs a new pair of shoes, shit. Besides, when it came to her love, I didn't think I would lose it. I mean, in the words of music, I wasn't that previous cat who had taken her heart and continuously bruised it. But she treated me like I was and made me continuously prove it. Asking me for shit, not because she wanted or needed it, but just wanted to see if I would do it. So when it came to this love thing, I didn't want to go through it. I didn't want to pursue it, but I didn't want to lose her. So I did just enough to keep her right there. Every once in a while, I would spend the night there, comfort her, console her when she has a nightmare, even take her to the mall and get her some tight gear, and then when I think she's happy, see, that's when I do all the shit that I think she might bear. Because you see, love is war, and I damn sure don't fight fair. Besides, I knew she loved me, she would always be right there. But so I thought. You see, you can only tell that lie and have her believe it so many times. And she's only going to turn a deaf ear for so long, and you spitting so many lines to so many dimes, even if they are fine. She was finding numbers in my pocket, and I'm saying they ain't mine, but she knows that I'm lying. So every conversation ends with me sighing and her crying, wondering why in the world she's even dealing with me. So I tell her to get the step in, because I was tired of trying. And then I sat and waited, because I figured she'd be back by in a minute or so. So I thought. You see, what she showed me was that all the times that I wasn't there, another man was. And all the things that I didn't do, another man does. And he's in her ear talking about how he just doesn't understand us. And I'm trying to convince her that's because he wants to be me. But it didn't matter because the reason to end this relationship is what that man would hand us. That's what that man was. Damn, cuz. I'm realizing now that I loved her. I have a confession to make. See, I realize now that love is this blessing you make. It is one you create. It's not one you can fake. Love is holding her close and telling her how you feel while caressing her waist. Love is convincing her that no one has ever taken her place. You see, love is not lying and shit and trying her whip while professing your case, but love is trying for this. It's willing to be dying for this while passing all of the tests that you face. You see, I've learned my lesson today, and I'm guessing I'm late. Because I've had love once, don't know if I'll find it again, and I'm stressing the weight. And I'm not really knowing my fate, but I'm having the pain of knowing hers. And I let me sit up here expressing this is showing nerves. And it may even seem easy to do behind all these flowing words, but the truth is that I'm trying to keep from choking words. Mm. Trying to put together thoughts and emotions with broken words but still thankful to have the things that I've spoken heard, to be able to use this art to express my emotions and heal my heart. Thank you all for listening to my spoken word.